This is our first classical construction. We are going to construct a line J, which will be the perpendicular bisector of our given segment ST. We're going to need a compass and a straight edge. The instructions here will be for a collapsible compass to be truly Euclidean. So we'll take the needle of our compass and we'll place it on the end one endpoint. We'll place it on S. And we're going to set our compass. See, we can't lift it off the paper. That's collapsible. We slide it until we leave the needle down there on the S. We slide until the pencil looks like it's going through the T. And then, you know, we swing a little arc and say, yeah, that looks good. And we swing an arc up here where we expect the intersection of the two arcs. So this red arc represents all distances, st. So now, well, let's, um, I guess we need to reposition. Let's um, move our compass. I'll use a different color, but I'm just going to realign my compass here with the needle on t. And I'm going to set it so it's passing through s. And then I'm going to swing the arc this way. Yeah, that looks good. And you can see there are indeed two points of intersection. So I know now that, well, I'll move this compass out of the way a little bit. I've got two points there. Well, I guess if I just pull up my ruler, my ruler, straight edge, you, know, you don't need the marks on it. So this is a straight edge this side or this side. Just line it up with my two points of intersection. You could label them if you want, but I've got it right there. And I'm going to put my pencil down and just slide it up and down my ruler. And that is, well, that's going to be the line. That's it. That's the line J. Now let's move this thing out of the way for a minute. Yeah, if you didn't show all those compass swings, um, I expect that I'm at least going to see that on your papers. So I want to be able to see, even if it's faint, where you swung your compass. Those are your construction marks. I'm going to put in something else here. I'll show the midpoint V. I'll just call this point right here V. And if this is indeed a perpendicular bisector, remember that two-part definition, that means, well, V bisects the segment ST, but it also means V is a midpoint of ST, and we've got the tick marks here to show that. Well, that's one half, that's the bisector part, and it is also, the red line is perpendicular to the blue segment, and we're going to signify that with our perpendicular mark right there. So there you go. That is a perpendicular bisector. Make sure you leave the compass swings, those are your construction marks, and all your teachers want to see those.